Hello, hello, and hello! Welcome to Kena, or Kena, Bridge of Spirits! This is a game that I have played a bit before, or I think I got to, the, like, the last area before I stopped playing. Like, not for any reason in particular, but the reason I'm playing it again, and I even wiped my old save out. Oh, well, I guess I didn't actually even need to do that. But, uh, the reason I I'm starting it again is because there is a major update that happened on the 25th of last month, of September. And because of that, it's what made me want to play this again. I, it's actually what really gave me cravings to play... Um, the Horizon Z uh, series again. Um, because there is a bow and arrow feature. Feature. I know I had issues with some of the enemies. They're not. It's not too difficult. I'm just gonna keep it at its normal. Invisible, I can I can't even tell what it is. Oh. Let's go in the middle. I don't see why not. Unique wooden masks are carved to honor the dead. Placed in sacred shrines, these masks gradually return to dust, symbolizing the spirit's peaceful journey into the next life. Not all spirits can travel this path alone, struggling with tragedies of their past. They linger and become dangerous. Masters, masters called upon to help help these trapped in violent manifestations are known as spirit guides. And that's the first time I've actually fully. Can I pause it? I'm sorry. This a video that I'm trying to upload does not want to upload. And what sucks is that it only needs a couple minutes. See, it's putting it to rest mode last night. Did not it? Did not help at all. Okay, now that that issue has been effing dealt with. This game is gorgeous. I don't think there's any secrets in this first area, because I think it's nothing about the tutorial. Like, how to play. I think that was also my favorite part, is figuring out how to get these locks to work. Is it safe to go down? Well, I guess so. There's...
This is my home. My village. Turn back, spirit guide. Oh, that's right. There's light and heavy attacks. See, this is the type of combat I'm used to. Unlock this one. That's oh, right, now this thing has power. And just the way this game looks. Because if I remember right, this was one of the flagship games. By that, I mean it was like one of the very first games I was supposed to use, like every bit of functionality with the controller. I could be wrong on that. I wouldn't be surprised if I was. Is this our special one? Yep! Yeah, these little guys are known as the Rot.
<laughs> Find the rot. Search for more rot in the area. I thought there was like a. Unless they changed it, I wouldn't be surprised if they did. But I thought there's a skill tree type of setup. There she is. Run. Oh, yeah, and that's how you can tell if there's a rot nearby. Oh yeah, and then mushrooms will grow where they were. <laughs> like, there's always a cute aspect to this game. Ah, oh, like, there's one. From what I played, I don't think it's ever explained like what the rod, what the rod exactly are. Okay, so that's the way out. I think that's how you level up, is finding uh, all of the rot. Oh. I don't remember that. That's more rot to purify this dead zone heart. Maybe if that's the way forward. Run quick. Hello, come back. How many do I have with me? Hold on, is it counting the one on my shoulder, though? I swear there is, like, one more rod somewhere. Well, that answers that! <laughs> There he is. The rock can now perform more actions. Um, and you now have one rod action available. Press square to send the rod onto objects in the environment. Oh, wait, no, this was a dead end. 
Okay, so I spent a bunch of time searching for nothing. That's how it works. But if memory serves, I think... Oh no, I can't even say that, because I'm not even sure if it's ever been described as, again, as what they are. But I think... I think they're like a type of nature spirit. Okay, leads up to the same area, so nothing special. Enemies frighten the rot. The rot are scared and have gone into hiding. Attack enemies to build courage in combat, spend courage to form rot actions. Courage, courage drops can form in the world. Collect courage drops. If pulse or touch them to build up your courage faster. Oh, wait. Rot already, they can destroy dead zone hearts or blind enemies. Press square to quickly send your rot onto objects in the environment. Oh, to bind, I thought I said blind. <laughs> There are two dead zone hearts. Gotcha. Yeah, but how did the how did Benji and To move certain objects in the environment, press square to have the rot pick up object, tell the rot where to go by aiming with L2, and then pressing square. remember what that means but there's good things to hap happen when you like fix when you fix stuff like that
now it's another way to get over here, but I don't see why. Hey, it's you again. Let me help you. I can heal these spirits and restore balance to the forest. I know you are kind. You sense the power that flows through this land, but you do not fully understand it. Stay here, spirit. You must move on. You are the one who does not belong. I will never abandon my people. There goes my shield. I should your shield at the right moment to parry. Oh! After certain events, more rot will come out. So it's not like I have to find each one one by one. It's safe now. But Saya, she cleared away the poison. The little guys can eat it. They love it. <laughs> My name's Kana. What are you two doing out here, alone in the forest? Don't worry about us. We've been here a long time and take care of ourselves. I can see that. You both look very strong. Do you know who that spirit was, with the horned mask? We don't know, but when he shows up, the gross poison grows stronger. Hey, what are you doing here in the forest? I'm searching for the sacred mountain shrine. Can you take me there? If you want to get to the mountain shrine, you have to help us with something first. Our brother Tar was trapped deep in the forest. We need you to help him. Great idea, Saya. That'll be easy for her. Did you see what she did to that stick guy? Help us free Tar and we'll take you to the mountain shrine. Woohoo! Come on! Our village is this way. <laughs> uh, 
I think I'm gonna call this episode here. Here, not too much, but it's just getting the basics down. Down. <laughs> oh, thank you. Hmm. All right. So, if there's any other games that you want to see me play, please let me know down in the comments. And like always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.